they're made from a sweet orange peel. Because we're actually going to be using the peel, it's always best to go for an unwaxed orange. The size of the peel really depends on the size of your orange. But in general, cut them to about six centimetres long by about one centimetre wide. And of course, do remember, the bigger the piece of peel, the more chocolate you can put on it. Next, cover them in a good quantity of cold water, two and a half litres or thereabout. And now they need to go into a high heat and be brought to the boil for about five minutes. Oh, those have had a good old five minute boil up. It's going to strain these now. Put them straight back into the pan. Refresh with a litre of fresh cold water. And now this peel needs to cook or simmer for about 45 minutes until the peel is quite soft but still retains a little bit of bite to it. This has now been cooking for about 45 minutes and the peel is quite nice and soft so I can now start the candying process by adding 500 grams of either golden gran or golden caster sugar. I'm going to give it a quick stir just to make sure the sugar is fully dissolved. It won't take long because the sugar's gone into boiling water. Then all you have to do is pop the lid on and leave it on a very gentle heat to simmer for 30 minutes. I'm going to remove this from the heat and let it stand for 24 hours to allow the softened orange peel to absorb the sugar syrup. And the next day, it's time to do it again. Repeat the process again by bringing the sugar syrup to a simmering point and leaving for a couple of minutes and then removing and let it stand again. You can do this for two or three days. The more times you process it, it's going to mean that your orange peel is going to be very well preserved and it's going to keep for longer. So after a couple of days of these orange pieces being in a, a sugar bath, the softened peel has absorbed the sugar syrup and that's what's going to keep them from going off. I'm going to leave these for 12 hours just in a warm place for them to dry off and begin to harden. Mm, these are looking really lovely now. Still quite pliable but a lovely colour. So now is the time where the good part starts. We're going to start dipping them in some chocolate. So have got a bar of dark chocolate. Break this into a heat-proof bowl. And I will now put this over a pan of simmering water. Leave that for five minutes or so until the chocolate has melted. Now, quite simply, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dunk half the orange peel into the chocolate and put it onto a piece of baking parchment where I will leave it to dry and that will set hard and I'll have a lovely chunky piece of chocolate there. For real indulgence, what you could do, let these dry and melt some white chocolate or milk chocolate and dip the other end in those. Oh, whoops, no room on the tray. One for the cook. Mm. Now the tray's full, I'm going to put them in a cool place and a safe place and away from the family. Leave the chocolate-covered candied orange sticks to cool and harden. Once any candied peel is dipped in chocolate, it's best enjoyed within three weeks. And these sweet delights can be wrapped up and presented as the perfect gift for any special occasion. Quite simply, a chocolatey citrus delight. That's a perfect present for anyone. <laughs>